ETSE 2 Taunton 2 here with Mark Baker. Um, Mark, th uh, would you question the team selection today? Well, I'm not the manager, so I don't see what goes on in training and what goes on behind the scenes, but uh, I, have, I have no idea where we started with two new, two new lads when you've got Inman and Howes. Howes was in the squad, Inman was on the bench, and both of them got subbed off early-ish in the second half. Um, I mean, we struggled defensively in that right-hand side, in that channel in between the centre-half, the new lad. He didn't have a great game, to honest you. Um, he wasn't physical enough, he didn't win enough headers, he didn't do enough for me. And the lad in the middle just played sideways the whole time. I don't really think he played one meaningful forward pass. Um, but they're, they're young lads, you know, it's good they're getting a chance in football. But I just think to the fans, get into the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup and get a potential to the first round proper is the biggest thing you can do as a non-league club and getting through to the FA Cup. I mean, yeah, OK, the league's the bread and butter, but getting into on a cup run, you know, them things don't happen often. Like, this is only like the... If we, get through, if we were to get through this, you know, it would only be the fifth time in our history to get the FA Cup first round. It's a big deal. And I just think that starting with our strongest team, I'm, I'm not sure why we didn't. Um, and I question, yeah, I question the starting lot, but I'm not the manager, so. <laughs> well, thank God you ain't the manager, because we won't be, wouldn't be in this division much longer. <laughs> um, <coughs> obviously, like I said to Chris, the mentality of the team, though, is the positive today, because... Most teams, when they're dominating the game, and then the opposition, in their biggest game, probably in their history, to be honest, in Tottenham, score, we still managed them psychologically, and we kept on going. Oh, yeah, I don't think they actually created a lot, apart from the two chances, which were really poor, really, really poor defensive goals to concede. Apart from that, they had set pieces and throw-ins, caused a few dangers from that, but I don't think they really called us that much trouble, to honest you. Um, but... They made it difficult for us, and even when they went down to 10, they made it difficult for us. But um, I, st I still think we should have won today, uh, and we had a better, better the game. Second half, we were brilliant. Second half was a lot better than the first half. We really did dominate the game second half, um, and we really should have put them away. I think going down to 10 men, um, you've got to put a team away then at that point. But saying that, they had the penalty they missed. We were fortunate in that sense so in the same way getting a draw we could say it's you could say after conceding a penalty as well we we did ac actually get away with it in that case but then with the 10 men you've got to win that game well we've wa we've wasted our chance really of not wasted yet but we kind of have in a home tie a favorable team as us we we hardly ever get that a chance to get into the first round against a favorable team yeah. do you think we've wasted a massive chance uh, no, because we still got a second chance, so you know we still go again on Wednesday. We've got another chance to put it right, but I think the home tie would have been a lot, lot better than the, the Wednesday night's going to be. I think it's going to be a lot tougher in front of their own fans. You can see their fans made a lot of noise, they had a lot of support for an away game. It's 300 miles away, 400 miles, however far it is. Um, it's going to be a lot difficult their own patch. So I think today was a, um, a missed opportunity. Yeah, but at the same time. We're still in the draw. We get to see who we get on Monday, and that could be a big, big, you know, spur on for us and them as well. You could pull out a big team on Monday, and then for, for both teams, that's a massive reward going into the game on Wednesday. So, do you think that draw could be a massive psychological boost for for both teams? Yeah, of course it will. Yeah, I mean, you could get you could get a League One team in this level. You know, you could get a Sunderland, you get a Portsmouth. There's a lot of good draws in there. Um, so, if you, you know, if you can't get yourself up for that, for the possibility of getting them sort of draws, then no, uh, that's a boost for both teams. Right, thanks, Mark. Cheers, mate.